Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. In this video, we are going to look at a question that appeared in the IBHL Maths exam. Again, we are going to look at a problem involving integration that appeared on an IBHL high level maths exam. Uh, May 2011 okay it's IBHL maths exam uh, session is May 2011 and the subject code is TZ2 okay so May 2011 a TZ2 and the question is number 13 okay number 13 and this is part B of the problem so let me write it here part B of the problem and it carries eight marks okay that is eight marks so let's start slowly okay uh, quite a bit of work we asked to evaluate this integral uh, limits lower limit zero upper limit one uh, the square root of x over four minus x okay the square root of x over four minus x and we asked to use a substitution uh, x equals to four sine squared theta so let me Restate that we're going to integrate with respect to x the square root of x over 4 minus x with limits 0 and 1 and we asked to use a substitution x equals to 4 sine squared theta so in any problem involving substitution so let me write the solution okay in any problem involving substitution please remember we always start with the substitution okay we write that down first and we always differentiate okay so dx d theta okay differentiate with respect to theta i'm leaving the four where it is the sine squared theta bring the two down reduce the power by one and then you forget the power differentiate sine theta you will get cos theta okay okay the four is here i just leave it alone <coughs> Differentiating sine squared theta, bring the two down, and then you reduce the power by one, you have sine theta, and then you forget about the power, you just differentiate sine theta, you will get cos theta. We're okay, done. So dx will be equals to 8 sine theta cos theta d theta. Everyone follows? 8 sine theta cos theta. I've just brought the <coughs> excuse me. I've just brought the d theta up. Good. Let's deal with the limits, okay? Uh, x equals to 4 sine squared theta. So, uh, lower limit, x equals to 0. So, we can write 4 sine squared theta equals to 0. Again, okay? my lower limit, x equals to 0. So, 4 sine squared theta is 0. Therefore, your sine theta is 0. And therefore, your theta will be 0. That's easy, yeah? Let's deal with the upper limit. x equals to 1. We have, uh, excuse me, 1 equals to 4 sine squared theta, okay, x is 1, so just plug in 1 there and you will get sine squared theta is 1 over 4, okay, therefore sine theta will be plus or minus 1 over 2, let's just deal with the uh, first quadrant, okay, let's just deal with the first quadrant, so sine theta will be just, okay, I'm just taking the positive 1 over 2. So my theta will be 5 over 6. Okay? So I've settled my limits. My lower limit now when I integrate with respect to theta, which you're going to see in a minute, my lower limit will be 0 and my upper limit will be 5 over 6. Okay, now that we've done all the preliminary work, let's go ahead and plug it in. So I have 0, I have 5 over 6, and then I have my square root symbol. What is x? 4 sine squared theta. Okay? What's at the bottom? 4 minus 4 sine squared theta. Okay? So, x, 4 sine squared theta. x here is also 4 sine squared theta. Please be careful, yeah? Do it slowly. dx is what? Good. 8 sine theta cos theta d theta. Okay. So, don't be frightened by this, okay? Just clean it up slowly and 
you'll be done. Yeah? So 0 to pi over 6. Let me just do it here. Okay? 4 sine squared theta over 4 1 minus sine squared theta. Is that okay? Take out the 4 in the, in the denominator, you'll have 4 1 minus sine squared theta. What is 1 minus sine squared theta? Cos squared theta. So this becomes, okay? The 4 and the 4 will cancel. So, okay, if this becomes sine squared theta over cos squared theta, and therefore we are just left with sine theta over cos theta. Okay? So this 4 and this 4 will disappear. Sine squared over cos squared, you take the square root, you will get sine theta over cos theta. Is that good? Now, we have got 8 sine theta, cos theta, d theta, okay? So let's clean this up a little bit, okay? I don't need this, okay? I don't need this. So let me just write it on top so everyone can see it. So my lower limit is zero, upper limit is pi over six. Let's see, this cos theta and this cos theta can go. Okay, so we are left with 8 sine squared theta. Sine theta times sine theta is sine squared theta. So we have to integrate 8 sine squared theta with respect to theta. Okay, so I don't need this. Good. How do you integrate sine squared theta? You have to convert it to a double angle. Okay, you can't integrate sine squared theta directly. So convert it to a double angle. I'll write the formula here for you. Okay. The formula is cos 2 theta will be 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Therefore, 2 sine squared theta will be 1 minus. Okay. So I repeat. Uh, we're using this identity for double angles. Cos 2 theta will be... 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, so we can write 2 sine squared theta as 1 minus cos 2 theta, okay? So, if I multiply this, I see an 8 sine squared theta here, so why don't I just multiply this by 4, I'll get 8 sine squared theta, will be 4 minus, okay? This 2 sine squared theta, I see a 8 sine squared theta here, so why don't I just multiply by 4, so I get 8 sine squared theta here, and I have 4 minus 4 cos 2 theta. So let's bring that in. 4 minus. And we are almost done. Okay? So now we can integrate. I have 4 theta. When I integrate cos theta, excuse me, when I integrate cos 2 theta, I'll get good. Sine 2 theta divided by 2. And let me plug it in some parentheses and plug in pi over 6 and 0. Let me just run through that one more time. 4, when I integrate, I'll get 4 theta. And this 4, I've just left it. When I integrate cos 2 theta, I'll get sine 2 theta divided by 2. Okay, so this leaves me with, let's clean this up a little bit, okay? Okay, this 4 and this 2 have 2 sine 2 theta. So when I plug in uh, pi over 6, I'll get 4 times pi over 6 minus 2 sine 2 times pi over 6. Okay, plug in the upper limit. And then 0, that's good news. 4 times 0 is gone. Uh, sine of 0 is 0. There's nothing left. So let me write it up here. So 4 times pi over 6, okay, 2 over 3 pi, uh, I have a minus 2 times sine of pi over 3, okay, let me remind you, pi over 3, cos, pi over 3 is the same as 60, yeah? pi over 3 is 60, so I have 1, 2 and, okay, I'll repeat. 
pi over 3 is 60 degrees, cos of 60 is half, so 1 over 2, so 4 minus 1 is 3, square root. So what is sine of this? Root 2 over 2. Okay? And we are left with 2 over 3 pi minus square root 3 as our final answer. And we are done.